Welcome back to my video. This is the part number four, and in this video, I'll show how you can hash your password and how you can send in your data from the from your server out to the client, where you use the JSON Web Token and Passlib to encrypt your password. So let's begin. The first thing we want to do is uh, importing up here. We need to say from uh, from Passlib hash. We need to import uh, pd pd uh, kdf2 and then hha uh, 512. We don't have installed the patch lib right, so going for that in our terminal. Um, here I have and pip install parslib when you're done with, with this we can jump back and you can see it's not unavailable longer and just to have something funny to do we will make the first password so let's make the password here a host and we call one two three four five six and run it up it should come in here and we copy this one this is a password going into your mongo and edit it replace it here and if i go back for my client here it should be wrong and now i can't log in anymore i will remove this one uh, yeah make, let's create a folder called tools the only thing i want to do is creating a new uh, python file here uh, generate rate password yes and that's what we want here and put this in and remove this and I will go oops of course I'll have this and go inside here so you can have this file to test uh, and print it out as you want but I will not use it anymore I'll just save it for the project and we're going back here and say uh, we need to be sure what we do here so uh, let's go up and copy this one and a little spaces here and I want to say verify and here we want the data password Oops. and our highest password is everything is correct here our login should be correct yes so the next we want to do now is uh, use a json web token to encrypt it so the response from a server is encrypted the uh, token so we can encrypt and decrypt so let's import it from uh, import uh, jvg and we don't have it installed so I will say go for what whoops for this tab and say pip install jvg and we need to go back again after it's done and then it's ready to rerun again and we have it here and what we want is uh, basically to dump our a, a token file so make a token encode first token encode here is equal to jvg.encode and what we want to encode is a result so I just copy this one and replace it here and we have a we have a key we want to, to use so onto a tree and then we use an algorithm is equal to uh, HS256 and let's say this one rerun it and to be sure it's still working and we have a problem here uh, Ok, 
Cool would probably have a wrong one. JVT had no. Uh, have no encoding. It could be. It could be because I have a wrong library installed. I should have a pi JVT, so let's confirm if that's what we have. plist. Oh, huh, that's why we uh, say pip uninstall JVT and uh, uninstall pip uninstall JVT. Let's try again. Say yes and pip install pi JVT and then going back again and rerun this one. And yes, then we go in. This is a token, a binary token we have, and that's that's fine. This uh, this key should of course be secret, so I will put it into our config file. I'll say config here, and I'll call it setting, and call it the JVG token, and go for my config here. JVG token is equal to ABC and then something like that. Of course, don't use this in production, this is just a test. And go back here and say rerun. And then we st should, uh, st should still have it back in this. The next step we want is uh, we have the token here. So we really want to be sure it's the right user we, we have uh, encrypted. So I will take out the ID of the user and the account should be uh, the ID of the user in the Mo Mongo. We have the ID and the token. So even if the person are trying to take out a token, knowing the long ID, it's need the token to verify it. Um, that's a, a very good one to have in the security. And now we have the, a bug. Let's see what happened here. JSON serializes. And that could be many reasons because this one is not uh, JSON friendly. So let's make it for a string. We can always convert it back to object ID in Mongo. And we have got to go now. The next step I will do is uh, to be sure the token is changed every time we logged in again as a user. So if you're logged out and logged in, you get a new token. So we are sure the token only used uh, with one login. Uh, so it's changed and being much harder for, for other people to, to know that. So let's start to, to finish this up. Go up and import, uh, sorry, from UID import UID4. That's what we want here. And when we have verified the user is correct and the password is correct, then we want to say token UUID is equal to this one. Um, and then we want to use it here as a token. And I want to update uh, Mongo with that so we know it. Um, it's here. Connection should be users for the collection, and then we update. And what we update is the UUI, uh, the ID of the user. We have it here with the account ID, and what we set. What we do is we want to set it. And the field should be token. And what we want to do is just to take uh, the token and put it to a string and, and save it again. So let's uh, run this one more time and run it. And we have a bug here. It's because the, the type of view ID is not as serialized. That, of course, we need to handle that. And the way we do this is just to say you need to be a string here too. 
it's a little mistake and we should have it here yes and that's working and thank you so much for watching this video about the security for a desktop application in Electron. I hope you enjoy. I hope you want to subscribe my channel. Of course, make a like on this video below. And if you have any kind of uh, questions, please make the comments below. I'll try to answer them as good as I can. And of course, share with your friends and add to your playlist. And thank you so much for subscribing. See you next time in the part five.